Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today, we are going to be showcasing the new Fizz Angel Final Form Frieza that transforms into Angel Golden Frieza at 69% in the Hidden Potential system. Like I said guys, everybody is doing their 55% showcases, their rainbow showcases, but I'm going to be the one dupe. 69% guy because number one it's a little bit different it's something that you guys don't see a lot but also it just works out because I usually like to go for just the initial copy plus a dupe and then I call it so anyways here's the Frieza he's got level 1 links and I did give him a level 3 attack skill orb and that's it so let's jump in and see what he can do so we've got a transformation boost slash terrifying conquerors team but basically it's just you know, Wicked Bloodline slash Vegeta's family, or sorry, uh, Frieza's family. And on the first rotation, he's linked up with the SDR Cooler, and we've got some support from Kid Buu, starting with 115,351 defense, which is not bad. And as you can see, the uh, active skill is already available because the only condition is that he has to be on the rotation. So we're not going to pop it yet, but it is available if we want it. And uh, let's give him just a couple orbs, and let's see what kind of damage he can do on this first turn. Okay, so we're taking a hit. Oh, we're taking a super. Okay, so this might hurt a little bit. It does 77,000. And damn, okay, so over 3 million. Over 3 million attack. First turn. And as you can see, defense is looking really, really good after we uh, take a hit and also... Get a super off. He does raise defense on every single super, so in longer events like this, he's gonna get really, really tanky. So the plan for this showcase is to actually keep him as Final Form Frieza for probably like, I don't know, three to four rotations, and then after that we'll pop the active skill and see what the Angel Golden Frieza can do. Now the thing that I love about this unit is that he's very versatile, you know, like you can really use him in a lot of different ways and if you want him to be a monster offensively just to start and you can pop the active skill on the first turn especially for shorter events you can just tear through the event as quickly as possible right but for longer events like this where you want him to be able to build up some more defense just keep him as final form frieza and he'll stack defense the entire time right so there's a reason why i say that i mean I don't necessarily know if he's the best TUR in the game, but he's easily up there, you know, with, among the best TURs. Is he better than Cooler? I mean, that's still a question that I gotta think about for a bit, but I think it's quite close. If he's not better, then he's almost as good. He might be better, honestly, like I still gotta test him out a little bit more, but he's definitely very, very close to Cooler. Now, we did get one super off. And as you can see, our defense is up to 216,000. After that one super attack, we went from 100, what was it, 110,000 to 216,899. That's a very big difference. Oh, also we did get hit, so we also got the additional defense from getting hit. If you guys don't know his passive, let me just quickly go over it. So it's attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% for 5 turns and medium chance of evading enemies attacks including super attacks within the same turn after receiving an attack and then attacked enemies attack and defense minus 30% for 2 turns. So that's why our defense went up by so much, right? Because we got the additional 50% from the passive and also raised defense with the super. Okay, so second super here, unfortunately we're not getting hit so we don't get the dodge chance, but we still keep the additional attack and defense boost for a couple more turns, right? So here we go, um, the damage should be the same, oh actually a little bit less because we lost some support, right? Because the Kid Buu was 50% attack and defense, whereas the Metal Cooler is 30% attack and 40% defense, but still really good, still really good. I mean, as you can see, he's hitting harder than Cooler, even though Cooler isn't really meant to be a damage dealer, I guess, if he's not transformed. But still, more damage than Cooler, stacking defense every single turn, medium chance to dodge attacks after taking a hit, and obviously the active skill that can be popped with basically no condition, right? So uh, I'm actually going to transform this Cooler right here. We'll transform one Cooler, and I'll keep the other Cooler untransformed so we can use it for support 
Yeah, still a really, really dope animation for Cooler here, but I think, I think I might like the Frieza one better. I mean, you guys can decide. You just saw the Cooler animation in a second. I'll pop the Frieza active skill so you guys can see the Golden Frieza transformation as well. And uh, let me know in the comments which one you guys think looks better. I think, honestly, the Frieza one is a little bit better. Just, just by a bit, just by a bit. It's close. I mean, Cooler obviously still has some of the best animations in the game, but at least for the transformation part, I think Frieza is definitely a contender. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so this is turn number three, or at least the third time he appears on the rotation. Uh, we did lose a little bit of defense support as well because this guy only gives, I believe, 20%. Yeah, 20% attack and defense. But as you can see, his defense still went up by quite a bit, up to 247,000 now. And uh, this Frieza, I believe, is actually a better linking partner. Yeah, look at that. They actually share six links. So I'm going to keep him uh, linked up with the Frieza. And should I pop this? Hmm. No, we're not going to. We're not going to. Okay. So I'm going to keep Final Form Frieza as Final Form Frieza for one more turn. And then the next time he appears on the rotation, we'll use the active skill. By the way, guys, uh, this Frieza is amazing for the legendary Goku event. Because, of course, he gets the uh, guard and also the damage reduction against, what is it, what is it, uh, Goku's family enemies, right? So, yeah, make sure to use him if you can. He also happens to be, like, one of, if not the best linking partner for this uh, Final Form Frieza. Okay, so on that turn, we got... Um, 3.2 million attack, right? And once again, this is a level 1 link, 69% uh, Frieza. So if he was rainbowed with level 10 links, you can imagine his attack would probably, I would say go close to, if not over 4 million. I haven't used a uh, rainbow, you know, Fizz Angel Frieza before, but I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure he would at least get around 4 million pre-transformation. All right, so now we have Kid Buu supporting, and now let's use the active skill and get that transformation. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I like Cooler a lot. I like Cooler a lot. But I think, I think Frieza might take it, man. I, th I think Frieza's transformation animation is currently the best transformation in the game. And as you can see, his defense is now 226,994, obviously because he does get a massive boost on his passive. Attack and defense plus 120%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 80%, and great chance of stunning the attack enemy when performing a super attack, and then reduces damage received by 50% when HP is 49% or less. And on his super attack, he also massively raises attack for one turn, which is a 100% boost to his super attack multiplier. And let's see, we'll just give him two orbs here. And uh, this should be pretty good with the Kid Buu supporting as well. Let's see how much damage we can get out of him here. Oh my god. <laughs> 5.3 million. 5.3. Okay, so there you go, man. Uh, Angel Golden Frieza is a beast. There's no other way to put it. He is a monster, and you know, the craziest thing is that he could have done this on turn one, right? If I really wanted to, if we were doing like a shorter event, I could have on the transformation on turn one, and he could have been doing that from the start. But instead, we wanted him to stack a little bit of defense. I think that is still the smart thing to do on LGE, Infinite Dragon Ball History, and so on and so forth. But yeah, if you if you really want to, if you really want to, you can get damage out of him like that just from the jump, from the very start. And that's why I think he's such a good unit, right? Like it's not just the fact that you know he does good damage. It's not just the fact that he has good defense is the fact that he's such a flexible unit and he's really good for, you know, events of all lengths, right? Like some units are good for shorter events, some units are good for longer events. This guy 
I mean, you can make a good case for being just good for every kind of event in the game. So yeah, he's awesome. Let's do a few more turns here, but um, essentially, unless we get like additional super here, his attack is not gonna go up too much higher. Oh, we're getting, oh, okay. <laughs> getting supered. Um, that's not too bad. You know what, that's not too bad. 135k from Super Saiyan Blue Goku. I'll take that. I can definitely live with that. Now, unfortunately, we haven't gone an additional super with uh, the Frieza yet. If we did, then he would probably be over 5.5 mil, right? Because he massively raises attack for one turn with each super. So with the additional, you would get that twice. So hopefully, you know, next turn, we'll see an additional super. He does have, I believe, level eight um, additional. So that's a 16% chance. Yes, 16% chance of an additional. So hopefully we can see that. But if not, I mean, he's still been impressive, right? 5.3 for the first super, 4.9 for the second. And we literally could have done that from the very start. Okay, Cooler is gonna show off a little bit here. He might actually kill this Goku by himself. Oh, close, almost, almost. Yeah, okay, so against Goku's family, or rather uh, against pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans, I think Cooler is still easily the best TUR in the game. Like against specifically hybrid Saiyans and pure Saiyans, of which there are a lot. Okay, there are a lot of units that are, you know, in those categories. So um, yeah, that's why I think a lot of people say Cooler is the best, right? Just because he absolutely wrecks pure Saiyans and hybrid Saiyans. But if we look at just overall enemies, if we look at against all events, I do think that Frieza has a case for potentially being better than Cooler because Frieza can be much better defensively and he also has a better transformation condition. I mean, basically no condition, right? So yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. Do you think Frieza has a case to be better than Cooler or do you think that it's close or do you feel like Cooler is still clearly the superior unit okay because i'm like i said man a little bit on the fence about this discussion right now i mean at the end of the day they're both phenomenal phenomenal units right like that's pretty clear but who's better who's better is the question yeah okay so this frieza obviously is not taking any damage from anybody named goku or bardock or gohan or anybody in the Goku's family, because he's just he gets so much defense and damage reduction. It's ridiculous. Um, ooh, additional there, damn. Additional there, but we didn't actually get the super. And wow, we took a lot of damage there. We could die this turn, actually. We could die this turn. Depends on how much damage Cooler's taking here. Uh, oh, yeah, we died. All right, well, <laughs> there you have it, clearly. It was time to end the showcase. When something like this happens, I just take it as the game's way of telling me to wrap things up. So there we go, guys. That is gonna be your showcase for today for the Fizz Final Form Frieza. Angel Final Form Frieza that transforms into Angel Golden Frieza. He is an absolute monster and easily one of the best TURs in the entire game right now. You know what, as a quick bonus, I wanna show you guys his transformation on first appearance to give you guys an idea of what he could do on shorter events. Okay, so enjoy the animation. Once again, in my opinion, the best transformation in the game right now. I think it's the eyebrow. I think it's the eyebrow that gets me. <laughs> that right there. Okay, so now we're transformed. We have 119,471 defense, obviously. Um, not nearly as high as if we had stacked with Final Form Frieza for a couple turns, but still not terrible. And now he's going to do 5.3 once again. So as I said, man, this guy can literally do this on the first turn if you get him on the first turn. If not, then definitely second turn or third turn or whenever he appears on the rotation. Okay, so there you have it, guys. That is going to be today's showcase. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this Final Form Frieza at 
Um, if he was rainbowed man, I couldn't even imagine what he would be doing. Like over 6 million probably with max links? Easily over 6 million on turn 1. And this is a TUR we're talking about, right? It's not like he's the newest LR, but in a lot of ways, he is as good as many LRs in this game. But anyways guys, that is gonna be the showcase. We're gonna end it there. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.